Good morning glitches. So today I want to look at Anandos Finance and show you how you can buy tokens on the XRPL really quickly with what I think is one of the cleanest and simplest interfaces on the XRPL. So a lot of us have been caught up in mean coin season on the XRPL. Huge success thanks to First Ledger and um, XP uh, X Magnetics launch pad as well. We've attracted a lot of attention on meme coins. What some of you may not know if you've just uh, come to the XRPL from a different blockchain is that you don't actually have to use those interfaces to buy those uh, tokens. You can use any interface for the XRPL, Anandos Finance being one of them. And there are some advantages to doing that. Um, I think Anandos gives you, hopefully you'll see for yourself in a moment, a really simple interface that you can dive into very quickly and, and make a purchase um, or a swap for XRP for the, the meme coin of your choice. Um, also, it may be slightly cheaper because I don't know exactly what the fees are on the other interfaces, but if you use something like Anandos, uh, essentially the fees are shown and they are pretty much what you would get from the uh, uh, what directly on the ledger swapping. Um, so if you were to programmatically trade against the ledger, you're going to get a very similar fee, um, as opposed to some of these interfaces maybe adding an additional fee, uh, which is fine. Um, but it's good if you want to be a bit more of a power user and you could save that 1% or whatever the fee is. So the first thing you do is go to anandos.finance, go to apps. Um, also, I will provide some uh, feedback on the interface as well because I've noticed a couple of potential enhancements. So let's go to Anadol Swap. That's the one that you want if you want to buy a coin on the XRPL or a token on the XRPL. The first thing you would do is log in. And Anadol, you need to add MetaMask here. So Pearsys, MetaMask, it have a snap now for the XRPL. So uh, I believe X Magnetic do allow you to connect using it as well now, using MetaMask to connect. So please add that. I think that will open, um, make life easier for people from other chains, Ethereum notably, to get up and running on the XRP rather than having to download additionally another wallet. <coughs> In this case, I'm using Xamarin, which is a great little wallet. You scan the QR code and sign it, which is absolutely normal for all of these interfaces. This is very typical for all XRPL interfaces. So we scan that, we sign it. There's no cost in this. We're logged in, and what I like that you can't see is Anados has opened up a, a browser in my mobile phone as well. So I've got the web and it's on my mobile phone at the same time. So first thing, I'm going to show you how quickly you can get hold of a meme coin. <coughs> In this case, I'm going to use meth. A little bit about meth. So the circulating supply right now is just 1,500 meth tokens, each divisible by 1 million. We call them crystals. So it's a very scarce asset. The reason I'm buying MEF is because I'm researching digital asset issuance on the XRPL and in general. And the way that MEF has been um, issued, distributed, incentivized, uh, the guidance around re redemption and the stewardship of the community make it a really interesting research project for me. Um, it should be said, I guess, that all digital assets are polymorphic and what we mean by that is that the issuer provides some guidance around what the use of the asset is or the proposed financial asset class of the digital asset. So the issuer of an asset can say it's a utility token or the issue of the asset can say it's a real world asset tokenizing real estate. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold, so you have to bear with me on this. Digital assets are polymorphic in the sense that the issuer can declare what asset class, what financial asset class the digital asset is. But they're also metamorphic. And, the re and what I mean by metamorphic is that 
the community can decide to use the token for something that the issuer didn't conceive of that token being used for. And this is why I think MEF is really interesting. Um, of course, it's polymorphic like every other digital asset. But one of the things that's happening now with MEF, because the developer is no longer on the scene and the 1,500 existing tokens are now fully distributed. They were distributed on the AMM, on the XRP or AMM in the XRP MEF pool. And I think there's a couple of other pools as well. And now the community has taken ownership essentially of the token and we can use it for whatever we, we want to use it for. So I, I call that metamorphic. But let's go ahead and just try and swap some, uh, show you how quickly you can swap some um, XRP for uh, MEF. So if you click on here, this is from, uh, the, the from to swap. I'm just going to do one XRP, which is giving me 0.023929. Um, approximately 50 cents of meth. You have the option of sending it to another wallet, which I'm not going to do at the moment. You can see the price here. The price impact, which has gone slightly up from the last uh, transaction that I did, but it's there, the information is there, is how much you could potentially move the price and the minimum that you can expect to receive. So this is essentially kind of what, this, what the slippage can look like. So let's go ahead and let's see how quickly I can pick up some meth from Anados Finance, courtesy of Anados. Scan the code in my Zaman wallet. And the delivery number is the same as that shown by the interface. And there we go, I've purchased some meth. <coughs> now just briefly, I wonder what happens if I try and buy another one. Okay, the price impact has slightly <laughs> changed. Maybe other people are, maybe other people are uh, buying at the same time. <coughs> so one thing I want to point out to the Anados team, I think these numbers on this graph are incorrect. You can see the open was 66, the high was 44, the low was 66.9, which is higher than the high, <coughs> and the close was 45. So I think these numbers do look wrong. Maybe someone can have a look at that. If I've misread them, let me know. Um, you can also have, uh, you can also contribute to the liquidity pools here <coughs> using Anados Finance. So let's search for the MEF pool. Here it is, MEF XRP. You're showing some of the basic information. Importantly, as well, the, the pool fee which is how much the fee, the pool will charge for swaps that are made against it. And the fee will remain in the pool. If you want to learn more about that, I, I did a video <coughs> previously on the subject. Um, an estimated APR, we've talked about this before. The, these numbers are not really worth looking at, especially for young pools. Over time, these estimates get better, but you'll notice that every interface gives you a different APR how much fees have been accrued in the last 24 hours. And you can also go to BitHub <coughs> to learn more about the actual address that's, that's associated with the AMM. Um, so let's go into this. I'll give Anados a moment. Hopefully Chrome won't break. It's uh, snapped. Okay, let's try and refresh. Okay, great. So I'm just going to do a, there's a lot more information here as you can see, but I'm just going to deposit some liquidity. Let's do one meth. <coughs> 
So it's saying here that a double-sided deposit of liquidity, me becoming a liquidity pool provider into the XRP MEF pool, um, <coughs> one MEF to 41.79. And it should really be as simple as adding some liquidity to this now. So deposit balance here, the amount, this is showing my current position in the liquidity pool, 785 XRP and 18.78 MEF. The numbers, the dollar numbers are identical. <coughs> and also you can see very importantly if you do decide to add liquidity to the pool i would recommend that you propose a fee of one percent <coughs> sorry as a liquidity pool provider you really want to uh, maximize the fees that you generate from the pool so let's go ahead and add some liquidity again sign the transaction using your wallet successful so that was really easy um i'll wrap it up because my voice is a little bit sore and you can hear people coughing in the background as well so just to wrap it up overall thoughts on this interface is incredibly simple um it definitely isn't necessarily a professional interface but it's fast to use and it gives you more than enough information to get started with um <coughs> to buy tokens and add liquidity to liquidity pools. I really like it. It's very clean. We've got portfolio options here, which I won't go into in this particular video. But um, the couple of things is maybe fix this chart to show the right <coughs> information um, and also add the ability to log in with MetaMask. Apart from that, I would highly recommend going off if you're going to buy a meme coin try buying it through Anados. Give it a go, because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> That's it for today. My voice is killing me, so I hope this has been helpful. If you find this stuff, this content interesting, I'm not asking for donations, and Anados haven't sponsored this in any way. <coughs> I just recommend you go and buy some meth. Thanks a lot. Bye.